with Greg Fournette and Dick de Vogelaire. Dick de Vogelaire from Magna. Greg is with Ford, and we're here with the Ford Focus EV uh, prototype, uh, initial development vehicle. Uh, we're about to go for a drive. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, where, uh, what the current status of the program is, and where you're going with it? Well, we're planning on putting a full battery electric vehicle in production in 2011. It will be based off a C-Class vehicle, similar to the Focus, and uh, our intent is to work together with Magna in the design, development, and manufacture of that vehicle. Magna will supply the propulsion system, which will be the motor, the transmission, the motor controller, the inverter, and the vehicle controller that interfaces all that, and potentially will be uh, making the battery pack as well. These vehicles are going to be available in Ford showrooms. We're going to sell them on the showroom floor, and our intent is to price them so that they're affordable and competitive with other vehicles that are on the showroom floor. And what sort of performance targets are you looking at for that first generation vehicle? That first generation vehicle is going to have acceleration times uh, close or slightly better than today's, uh, say, Focus uh, with an internal combustion engine. Our target on range is 100 miles and we're looking at a top speed. We'll probably limit it to about uh, 85 to 90 miles per hour. Uh, Ford and Magna are both jointly uh, evaluating uh, the options and uh, we'll be making a battery sourcing decision shortly. Okay. Yeah, and for a 2011 production unit. It's, moving, it's a pretty time. fast program. Right. Started, what, Middle of 2008, yeah. just the development of this. Yep. This is an accelerated program, faster than uh, the typical program would be. But uh, we've got a, a history in producing electric vehicles. Yeah. We're working with a very capable partner. And so we think we can bring a vehicle like this to market, uh, robust, as capable as the other vehicles we produce in our portfolio but uh, uh, we'll be able to bring that to market uh, faster. We're excited. We've got two great teams uh, married together, and uh, we think between our plug-in strategy, our BEV strategy, and of course our already successful hybrid strategy, uh, we're going to uh, have a significant impact on the industry and give consumers what they're looking for. All right. This is an exciting car. Let's go drive it. Yeah. certainly understand why. There's definitely a lot of interest in, uh, in EVs these days. Probably your best opportunity to feel the acceleration is through here. Pretty good. It's typical of, of an electric vehicle, the, the strong low-end torque yep. of the electric motor right off the line. Our 0 to 60 performance is just under 10 seconds. Okay, good. And how's the weight of this car compared to a standard Focus? It's approximately 450 pounds heavier, and most of that's attributed to the battery pack. We're exactly 50-50 with the weight balance of this car. We're using a high voltage uh, heater that heats the coolant, and then uh, we do a heat exchange with the conventional heater that's in the vehicle. Pretty much what anybody would expect from a, driving a Focus. Glad to hear that. that was any our other objective. small car. That was our objective, to make it transparent. Well, you know, we're always going to be looking at opportunities to diversify our EV offerings. Uh, that'll depend to some degree on how the technology progresses. Uh, but for now, uh, I, I think our focus is on uh, uh, an EV uh, sedan. And then, of course, uh, we'll be working on an EV utility vehicle. Speaking of pedestrians, um, one of the potential issues that's been brought up with EVs is the sound or lack of sound um, and pedestrian safety issues. Um, where's, where's Ford going with that, uh, with that issue? Well, I don't see it as a, uh, an insurmountable issue to address, uh, but I, I, you know, I'm not also convinced that it's as uh, critical an issue as, it, as it's been described. I think there still is a sound signature from the vehicle like this in terms of tire noise and, and other noises. So, um, 
you know, we, we'll be prepared uh, when this vehicle goes into production to uh, address that issue.